What's up everybody? Welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. We've got a bit of an older match here today. It's going to be TY versus Ruin. As you can see, it's on Butter. So from 2023, not too long ago, but you can see that TY has been practicing for a while, although his ID has just recently come to light. He's been grinding out some Brood War games, and I don't know if I, it's just me or if there's a lot of you guys out there, but I'm really excited to see more StarCraft 2 players come back to Brood War to be converted here to the greatest game on Earth. And, and TY, he's just one in a long line, not the first and not the last StarCraft player, I hope, to come back to Brood War and show us some great games and qualify for the ASL and go really deep. You know, Soul Key was the, the most notable one, of course, recently getting the ASL title, uh, but maybe giving some credit to some other players, you know, giving them some hope that maybe they could become, you know, stars not only in StarCraft 2, but also in Brood War. So it's really exciting to see TY playing in ASL and, oh, doing pretty well. Looks like we might lose this SCV. It's getting really, really close, but he does get the repair on that. The probe micro so far, very, very good here. And the player that is uh, microing that probe is Ruin, none other than Ruin. This man is kind of an ACS player. He's not quite in the ASL yet. He's done some appearances in the KCM and other smaller tournaments but the asl is just a little bit out of his grasp thus far however he is going to be putting down down some really serious pressure here in the early game against ty really taxing him to the max here on his barcode account sending in zealot after zealot from a proxied uh gateway here on this map called Butter. It looks like we just missed the gateway. I think we just uh, walked right by it here with the gas steel and the proxy gateway. This is about as filthy a build as you can do as a Protoss player against Terran. And it's very, very hard for the Terrans to hold on against something like this, but TY is doing a fantastic job so far. Looks like he's just gonna target down his own assimilator there. A beautiful move here by Ruin. Kills his own assimilator with an attack from that zealot and then starts another one. I'm just gonna slow this down as much as possible. Very well done by him. He's gonna pull back one of these marines. Okay, not pulling back the marines on the top side, only the ones on the bottom, and he will lose one marine there. Second marine does go down. That's very painful right now for barracks. Or for what am I saying? For TY. There's the barracks right there, but this is not that player. We've got four Marines now to push back the single Zealot, and it looks like TY is going to get everything rolling once again. That was quite a chaotic and hectic start here, guys, to this cast. But uh, I messed up the first time I was casting. Actually, the first two times, kind of stumbled on my words, so I restarted. And this was the, the earliest point that I could get to in all honesty <laughs> on the timeline. It was only go able to go back to like 30 or 40 seconds. Uh, that was the earliest I could get, so. We're already well into the action here. Another Marine gonna go down. Oh, just barely getting picked off there. Another one. Really good moving shot. And how did this just survive? Good God, Zealots are so tanky. Now there's only two Marines here to try and deal with this full HP Zealot that's coming in and this one gonna make its way back in as well. That's a little bit crazy. Four HP on that, just one more attack and it should be picked off. Okay, two more attacks. My goodness, these things are tanky as heck. Another Marine going down, super annoying here for TY. He's being taxed to the absolute max by Ruin right now. And is he even gonna lose this Marine? Oh, just barely, not quite. SCV's here trying to surround a Dragoon runs by and kills the one Marine. That last hit on the Marine. So annoying here. Really ruined. Being incredibly taxing to TY in the early game. He will lose that SCV. And he should eventually get tracked down here with the Dragoon. So he probably gonna, he's probably going to have to bail out. I think he just runs out of here. That was 
a little bit crazy. I thought he would just run straight out. He tried to kill the Marine first, though, but not able to pick that off. Factory here with the add-on coming down, and range is just about to finish. So this pressure has not ended, and it's not ready to end just yet. Rune going to continue to put on more pressure here. Start to hit this bunker as soon as the range finishes. It looks like TY already having the SCVs here over on this bunker as the uh, scouting SCV gets taken down. He's seeing kind of where he's at in this uh, in this game right now. He knows that there's a range coming up. He's trying to build a supply deep on the front. I'm really surprised to see him try to put that there. He definitely saw the spinning cybernetic scores, so kind of shocked that he would try to do that. Going to float the uh, barracks out to the front right now. Trying to set up a missile turret as well. He's actually thinking that there might be a DT follow-up here, but when you see this number of Dragoons and range, you should be able to decipher what the build is right now. That many Zealots early, plus the Dragoons with range, five of them here. You don't actually need this turret. So I think what we're seeing is from 2023, TY was not 100% sure about his tvp he wasn't totally in it yet he wasn't totally in the zone he hadn't quite figured out this matchup yet that's kind of what we're seeing here right now someone like sharp who's really in it who's been playing non-stop and practicing like crazy he would definitely be able to figure this out he'd be able to see with that scout range is coming we put on all this pressure we see the pylons here we know that there's not some sort of like hidden DT tech for sure, but TY gonna use, uh, be absolutely safe right now. He's already added on, look at that, four turrets without ever seeing any tech here. And this is gonna give some time really to Ruin. Ruin can just throw down another Nexus or something right now if he wants to. He can start to get really greedy here because he's not doing anything crazy. He's building a Reaver. He's just going to potentially, if he can't make it into the main base, which maybe he could slip through here. I don't think he can make it through here or here. If he makes it through here, he's probably going to lose almost all the HP on his shuttle. So if he comes through here, he's probably going to lose half. I don't think he can make it through here. He'll probably lose almost all the HP on his shuttle. He might get targeted by one hit from this turret uh, here in the natural. So... I hope he doesn't try to fly by, but if he just sits out in front here and takes another base, I think that Rune's going to be in a great position. He's only built one gateway back at home. He's still saved this gateway here, which can continue to produce for quite some time because we're going, we're, we're going into siege mode here. Siege mode tech very, very quick. This is the ultimate defensive build, really, from Terran, right? Turret ring siege mode immediately. It means we can't put out any pressure on our opponent. And we're going to be as safe as possible to some sort of really aggressive play coming from Ruin. And Ruin going to come in here. He sees the turret and I expect him to just sit outside the front. Try to slow down any push that's going to come out here. And since we didn't push out a little bit quicker, it's going to be very hard to kill this gateway now. And this gateway will get a lot of use here for Ruin. He won't have to replace that for quite some time, really, until he gets his third base up and operational. And this gateway no longer matters. Like, losing that gateway will stop mattering here in a few moments. Whoa, is he gonna try and bust here? This is a little bit crazy. Great targeting on that Reaver. Look at how low that just went. Two shots from those tanks targeted directly onto the Reaver. A bit of miss micro there from Ruin. You really want to drop the Reaver between the tank shots here in order to get maximum value out of those units, but wasn't quite able to do that. Now, tanks starting to push out here. We do still have a Zealot. So dropping the Zealot on an advancing tank could force the, you know, three, four tanks that are sieged up back here to splash down this tank in the front. So he's got to be very careful about doing that. He wants to kill this gateway, but he's being really tentative here. And you can just see how these are just baby steps from it. TY, aka Baby himself, pun intended here, baby steps from him as he's kind of learning this matchup or relearning this matchup after coming back from StarCraft 2 
Again, this is 2023, so uh, well before the ASL qualifiers and his uh, debut in the ASL. So this is really baby, aka Ty, learning the ropes here against Ruin, and Ruin really punishing him in a lot of different ways, including getting a lot of bases up here earlier, and you know harassing super, super uh, aggressively with the early zealots. And the forward gateway. Now it kind of slowing down this third base. It seems like TY's managed to secure this area. And that was a pretty smooth move forward here to get this base out. And at 11 minutes, we're still feeling pretty good here as TY, honestly. With the third base up at 11 minutes, with the starport finish and the science facility almost done, we're going to be able to start our plus two in pretty good time. And we'll get our plus one armor here going pretty quickly as well now from what I remember from this map it's been a while since I played any games on this but from what I remember from this map again it's it's a two-player map it kind of favors Protoss overall but if we manage to make it into a really late game there's a lot of great high ground areas to hold with tanks if you can hold this area with tanks you take this base and all the bases in the bottom left it's very hard for the Protoss to win from that position. So we'll have to see what Rune can bring out here to prevent that type of game state from occurring. For now, he's just trying to slow down. And I mean, we're 12 minutes in. We don't really care about this gateway anymore. He's still trying to get some value out of that. He's still trying to get some kills with the Reavers as that's being taken down. But it's really not that important anymore at this point. He's not even producing anything out of that. He's not really worried about it. Just utilizing these Reavers to the best of his ability here. And looks like we're going to have a fly through from these Reavers and shuttles. Going to go ahead and fly down along this path, like I was saying before. But he's not too worried about taking a lot of damage here because he is going to have double shuttle. Tank that damage and then drop the Reavers. Oh, God. He's going to lose the second shuttle, though. That's a little bit rough. Got two kills on that, two kills on this Reaver. So only a total of like five kills on both of those Reavers. Not the greatest, honestly, here from Ruin. He could have gotten a lot more there had he flown through with the Reavers and dropped them back here or something. Drop the Reavers back here. It's so hard to get the tanks in to defend this area. And maybe you could target down the armory or maybe you could target down a group of uh, supply depots here, but... Rune making kind of an error there and dropping in the natural, which is very easy to defend. You know, all the tanks, the army is just just seconds away from being pulled back to defend this area. So, bit of an error here from Rune, I'll have to say. Doesn't net him too much, and now there's no Reaver to try and slow down TY if he wanted to push right now. He doesn't seem like he's ready. He doesn't really want to push across the map at the moment, but... He could. He could absolutely push right now. Or he could try to take another base, which is what he's going to do. Win a fight as Terran. You either take a base, you take a position on the map, or you kill a base from your opponent. That's what I heard from Light. Hearing that from some of his uh, translated coaching sessions is like the goal of every Terran fight. If you win a fight, you take a base, you hold a position, or you kill a base of your opponent, and here we go. Big storms on a lot of these SCVs. Taking some serious, serious damage here. TY dropping down to just 56 SCVs. It's not the worst in the world, because we are getting close to mining out here. We can still have pretty good saturation on three base. But if we want to get to this fourth base, we might need a little bit more. Just a little bit more here. There's still quite a bit of minerals here at the natural and we are going to see the scvs being produced from two uh, command centers here right now will we have a wraith being produced no it's going to be instead going into a vessel here for ty ty going to try to utilize emp to try and defend against these storm drops that are going to be coming down but you can see he's not totally dialed in to the most the latest style here only having a few goliaths here and there 
and he's actually not properly in position to defend this fourth base so the fourth base will have to lift and abandon ship this is a little bit rough for ty who's now got plus two with plus three on the way he needs to go pretty smoothly into this fourth base though and Bruin's not going to let him get there while taking a fifth base of his own. Rune being very efficient here with the Storms and the Dragoons backing up, forcing the Siege, making it hard for TY to take this base. He's going to slowly rotate down here towards this location. Can he secure this? There is the secondary path coming through the left-hand side, which this tank line does not cover. He'll have to extend quite a bit further and with the extension comes the punish that's what runes is going to be looking for here tanks are going to siege up a little bit closer he's going to come in to try and punish this move forward here these tanks are not going to be any help for this army right now as the protoss starts to make its way over here and kill some more units this is unfortunate for ty you do need to move your army to respond you know, keeping a bunch of tanks here in the middle, it feels good, but you'd much rather have all of these over here ready to fight. And then if a big swarm comes through the middle, if Protoss tries to push through the middle here, you've got all these mines to delay. You can unsiege and move back over to this location. So this is kind of like basic Terran uh, 101 kind of a mentality is like, a lot of Terran players who are not that high up on the ladder, they'll leave a lot of their tanks kind of stationary in the middle between their bases without really reacting. And when you see the very highest levels of players, the way that they move their armies is they move everything at the same time. They try to get, they bring their entire army to bear in order to take on every fight leaving just the bare minimum behind to deal with any attack and rotating to deal with the pushes and look at what's happening here as rune is taking small fights over and over again against tanks and vultures that are not in high enough numbers to really deny the pushes successfully and he's picking off a lot of scvs dropping back down to 54 while rune takes even more bases on the map this is typical really typical play from a Protoss player and honestly typical mistakes from a Terran as well having a hard time here TY as we know has cleaned up his Terran play a lot but this is very informative here guys if you're struggling as a Terran player on the ladder just know that you, you can't really keep a bunch of tanks in the middle like this maybe leave one tank out here but you need to rotate with the majority of your army to deal with where the Protoss is pushing you. You have to bring everything to bear to try and fight that and keep scanning ahead of what's going on and rotate your army in response to where the Protoss is moving. If the Protoss tries to break through here, it's gonna take a long time. So you can move, if you take your whole army down here to try and defend and get this base online, if he tries to push through here, you can absolutely respond to that, move your army up and deal with that but look at how much time all of these attacks have just bought ruin here he is in such a good position now he's starting to build like cannons on high ground here outside of the base of the terran and oh my goodness he really needs to focus down some of these storms some of these templar because the tanks are really really clumped up now this is what i like to see bringing everything to bear in order to bring this uh, army uh, or to take this uh, fourth base here, but this is a little bit too late, I feel. We've got the fourth base online, but look at what Ruins managed to accumulate. He's got so many bases around the map. He has so many gateways to work with. He's even building cannons on high ground here. It's a little bit wild to see, but I like it. He's taking every single advantage that he can right now. He knows that his Terran opponent is a little bit slow. He's not reacting as quickly as he should, and he's using that to his advantage. He's constantly harassing his bases, and he's taking better and better positions here on the map, getting ready for the inevitable push out from the Terran player. That crazy attack that's gonna come with 3-3 being done. Well, we're gonna have 3-2 here soon. Pretty much the same thing. That third armor is not really a big deal. 3-2 here push that's gonna come from TY. It's gonna be very scary, but when you've got 
this many bases online and this much production rolling it's not nearly as frightening here i'm gonna get another at big scv train of damage here more storms coming down looks like he even had three storms on that one templar 15 kill high templar here on this high ground and he's breaking through on top of this area the third base is under threat here ty falling further and further behind losing more and more scvs this is a master class here from ruin and how to take down a terran player who's not fast enough to respond to all of your moves in the mid game and the late game is soon to be occurring here we're starting to get the push out over to the center right right base is being taken down we're gonna have four templar being brought up but not able to you know engage with this army at this point he needs to get another rally forward here but this base is not that important we have so much income right now as the protest whoa he just lost that i i, I don't know if that was full of yeah that was the full of templar shuttle i think oh boy unless this is the one right here maybe this is the one he lost a uh, shuttle there for free, unfortunately. Gonna drop some Templar here. Try to take some good trades with these storms. He's gonna throw down storms on a lot of these, uh, a lot of these tanks here on the high ground, trying to push forward, but really not that important that he's, you know, pushes up here onto the fourth. We kind of have to let this fact go that he's gonna have this fourth base. Now, the fifth base is a totally different question here. Do we allow the Terran to take a fifth? I certainly hope not here. Ruin is probably going to fight that to the death. He does not want to allow Terran to continue to grow here. Four bases is all that we'll allow, I believe. And if TY manages to take this base or this base, I think we might see a Terran victory. Now, air weapons is on the way. I believe this is plus one, but I'm not sure. Could be plus two not 100 percent again but we're gonna possibly transition into some carrier here coming up soon dropping on top of these tanks taking a really great trade here is ruined killing off a lot of these tanks man so many tanks going down you can see the supply of ty just dropping like a stone right now down to just 132 supply of 194 he's trying to take this base but his army is just not looking very strong here we've got some more scvs being produced but we need turrets over these tanks to keep them safe from just pure zealot bombs picking them off one by one gonna remax here really really quick ruin looking amazing right now even though He's allowed the Terran to temporarily take this base in the center left. I don't think that's going to stay up for much longer. He's going to come around, maybe hit the base over here. But there we go. Turrets are now up. So realizing that that's a precarious position here. He's going to have turrets on that high ground. Now, this is not a great trade for Ruin. Only getting one storm for all of those zealots pretty brutal here not even able to pick off one tank there on the high ground i think he got one tank over here but that's about it and ty gonna start to push forward it really is all about this side of the map i think really we need to where's the 200 army guys i'm really confused right now i guess we've got two more stargates coming up but where is this 200 200 supply that we're seeing we've got maxed out but i don't see where it's actually at right now okay there's some army there's some more army over there. He needs to break this push and kill this base. And that that's, I think, how Ruin can win this game. Wow, great D-Matrix right there. But just gonna storm these tanks over on this high ground here. Start to pick those off. Zealots are gonna come through as well. Dragoon's on low ground, not taking the greatest trade, but eventually it seems they will cut through this. More storms here on these tanks, picking them off taking over this high ground position is super super important right now but ty holding strong shoving back sending more units forward to rally to this position 130 supply though 130 to 199 if ruin can just bring everything together 
he should be able to break through and he's building three carriers at the same time so this should be a strong follow-up here from ruin and i don't see goliaths right now we're just starting mining here at this base we're still okay if we scan goliaths or if we scan the carriers and see what's happening seems like he's not scanning the carriers right now but if he scans there and produces full-on goliath maybe he can hold with the number of bases he's got right now but we're gonna have a lot of carriers coming out here soon still being pushed back right now ty fighting with a very small army here at 122 supply really having a hard time right now and more and more rallies coming up here while the carrier count starts to build we're only at three carriers about to pop out so still some time remaining here before this becomes a really strong carrier army but ty he needs to make some moves right now unseach these tanks you know take out this base try to get up here on this high ground once again there's not too much up here but he really needs to push and make something happen before the carriers start to get fully online scanning i don't know where he's scanning right now but you can hear constant scans going off over and over and over again and i don't think he's actually seen okay maybe he has seen it now maybe he has seen it he is making quite a few goliaths right now making quite a few goliaths but his money is not too high great storms here on the high ground dealing that extra damage i'm trying to find out if he's actually scanning or not seems like he's just scanning the center right right now and he might be thinking that he's making some progress here, but the fact is carriers are going to pop out very soon and start to shut this all down. So I hope he can pick off this Nexus before that happens. I hope he can push up this high ground before that happens. I'm going to keep checking here to see if he's uh, scanning those, uh, those carriers or not. And it doesn't seem like he has. Not making any Goliaths right now. Only Vultures here on the way. This is not looking good for old TY. Mr. Baby here having a hard time. He's going to push forward now with the Goliaths and tanks. Should be able to shut down this base in the center right. But we're going to have carriers here in high number with six out now. As soon as the interceptors are made, he can really start to bring the hurt to TY. And TY starting some Goliaths. Where's the scan? He doesn't scan anywhere that's really... On top of the tech here, he thinks that he's just doing fine right now. He has no idea that the six carry, there it is. He sees it now. Gonna go ahead and start seven Goliaths at the same time, realizing his position. All of these carries are gonna go down. He's not gonna be able to kill the Nexus. So this is a bad spot now for TY. TY really not gonna be feeling good about this. Unable to kill the Nexus. We're gonna have full mining here in just a moment. Instead, he's going to start to push here on the left-hand side. Something he probably should have done a little bit earlier. But he's going to do it now. Try to get as much value out of these tanks as he can. Over here on the left-hand side. While the army is being pushed back here. And Goliaths are starting to spawn out of these factories. This base, not the most important anymore. Would really uh, behoove him, I think, to just pull all of these tanks back. At least over to the Goliaths and the rallies here. Tank's going to move around this left-hand side. Try to maybe pick off this base as well. That'll force the carriers back. He really does need to prevent all these bases from going down. He will be able to mine from here. But maybe, just maybe, TY can push over here to the center right. While the carriers are back at home trying to pick off these tanks. He's going to get these tanks for free. But will the Nexus fall? It kind of looks like it will. But still, there's a little bit of time remaining. A lot of probes going down right now. We're down to just 41 probes. SCVs over here kind of dying. But really, the initial attack from these carriers was not the greatest. You know, he picked off this base. He managed to save this base. But this base, he picked off. Not the most meaningful. It's still giving TY some good opportunities. He killed all of these probes. And he killed the Nexus. So, I mean... This is still okay for TY, I think. He might be able to pull this one out. He does not need to be losing Goliaths right now, though. Oh, my God. These Goliaths missing so many shots up onto this high ground. And they're, like, wasting their time right now trying to chase down a Templar when they should be getting the position 
to fight these carriers. Carriers moving through the middle of the map right now. My god, there's nine of them here now. Nine carriers ready to fight. But TY gonna pick off the center right base. Oh man. Oh man. We don't have any mining left over for old Ruin here. Ruin in a bit of a rough spot. He's gonna hit the left hand side because he's realizing now that these two bases are really the only ones left mining for TY and maybe he can push and defend a base here on the left hand side if he does it correctly so really figuring out now the proper way to go here plus two is already done plus one armor is here as well targeting down the command center good god that dies fast command center falling down really really quick here he's gonna target down as many uh interceptors as he can and i mean interceptor targeting is actually very smart right now we're very really really low on minerals we got 20 minerals left right now here for ruin ruin needs money so badly he's basically soul key at this point at this point need money it's like he just got scammed by this terran player he absolutely needs those donations and instead he's going to be donating some dragoons over to the Terran force right now backing away transferring some probes at the same time over here to the left side this is not a lot of minerals almost not even enough to justify a nexus over here might as well have long distance mine this in fact we be chasing down some of these carriers looks like he killed a carrier but I mean this is 11 11 carriers here guys 11 carriers we can't even build interceptors all we need to do is kill interceptors that is it kill interceptors that is all we have to do right now we still have money we have a good supply all we need to do is kill interceptors here diving on top of the uh, carriers is what gets you killed storms are gonna come down here no the storms huge storms here on these goliaths you have to focus down the interceptors, man. The tanks are going to die. The goliaths are going to get stormed again and again. Over and over. And TY losing everything here right now. This is brutal. And he taps out. Oh, no. TY. Learning a very hard lesson in this game. And I hope that he takes that lesson to heart. The most important migrating your whole army to deal with any pushes from the protoss here as you're trying to take your fourth you cannot be le leaving army in the middle of the map just a, a skeleton crew here to hold off with the mines until you can migrate back over here to deal with any pushes and then also realizing the game position here that the protoss is not mining and even though the carrier count is very very high all we need to do is kill incept interceptors. That is it. Killing the interceptors is the number one priority. Utilize the tanks to push back the Templar and don't allow him to trade energy for Goliaths. Gunning down the carriers is not worth it at this point. We just need to fire down interceptors as much as possible. Kill as many as we can and they will not be able to reproduce those. So really ty i think falling apart here in the late game making some serious mistakes but we can see that his overall game has continued to grow and i hope that it will continue to grow as time progresses he's a great amazing starcraft 2 player with a storied history so decorated in that game but Starcraft 1 is totally different, man. There's a totally different set of problems to deal with. And there's a lot of players like Ruin have, who have been gaming and grinding out Starcraft Brood War games for years and years and years. And they will take you down if you make just those small mistakes. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. This has been your Daily Dose of Brood War. And I'll see you tomorrow.